We are at the Red Pattaya stand here at Embedded World 2023 and I am with Niku who is going to take us through uh, what Red Pattaya is and what is coming up from Red Pattaya. Now we've described it as the Swiss Army Knife for Engineers in the past but what exactly does that mean? What is Red Pattaya? Yeah, yeah. So as you can imagine uh, an engineer or somebody aspiring to be a future engineer might need a few instruments on his bench, right? For sure he's going to need an oscilloscope, a signal generator, a logic analyzer and so on. So what our product does, it allows him to have many instruments just in one really tiny format. Uh, it not only saves the desk on the space, but it also brings a lot of performance for a really quite affordable cost. Yeah. So this is what we do. Sure, yeah, and, uh, and the idea of, uh, uh, as you mentioned, you know, the, you, calling it the Swiss Army Knife for Engineers is actually very accurate because it can do a lot of things. Um, and uh, I know that one of the things that's an important focus is uh, being able to uh, get multiple channels of input and data acquisition at once. So um, uh, we've talked about the original Red Pattaya boards in the past, but what's new for Red Pattaya? There's a couple of new products that you've got um, out now and on the horizon, aren't there? Yeah, sure. So as number of channels go, the standard Red Pitaya that was first made in 2013 mm -hmm. has two channel input mm -hmm. and two channel output. Mm -hmm. So it's a two channel board mm -hmm. and the important bit here is that the two channels are not a shared resource. Mm -hmm. So where the previous traditional like bigger instruments, mm -hmm. uh, like if you use one channel you will have uh, all the speed that is written on the front of the instrument, yeah. but when you try to use two channels the speed drops in half, Shared, well Red Pitaya yeah. is nothing like that so you still have the full speed if you use one channel or two mm -hmm. uh, but what we wanted to focus more uh, and this didn't come like from us it was more like requested from the customers mm -hmm. they felt that sometimes they don't need to generate signals yeah. so first we made a, a, a model which has four channel input okay. so this will save uh, a lot of costs because previously uh, the customers needed to buy two Red Pitaya boards yeah. and mm -hmm. they needed two PCs to control the boards to try to synchronize the measurements. Sure. And uh, we first did this board and uh, that's available now but this year we also launched an uh, even bigger dream than that. Yeah. It's a, a X channel system. Mm -hmm. So what we do, it's a master unit to yeah. multiple secondary units mm -hmm. and they are connected with uh, some SATA cables yeah. and they transmit the clock and the trigger information from the master to all the other units. Yeah. So this way you can have unlimited uh, number of channels for sure. input and for output yeah. and uh, that's really really a breakthrough because it's Red Pita by design it's lend itself to scalability because yeah. Each unit gives the data out through its own gigabit Ethernet interface. Yeah. So there is no bottleneck of data, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's already a fast instrument yeah. and it, USB is not going to cut it when yeah. you have so many uh, measurements done with 125 million seconds per mm. second per channel. Yeah. So because each unit has the gigabit Ethernet interface, it's only limited maybe to your networking infrastructure, right? But you can get powerful maybe Cisco router or something yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. and uh, eliminate that. And uh, this was quite quite a requested uh, project mm. uh, feature yeah. from our customers and uh, luckily it was pr uh, provisioned from the beginning. So mm. if you take a look at the unit that was developed in 2013, yeah. these connectors that allow for the external mm. are still present there. Yeah. And actually we do sell the hardware mm. like you can go online right now and you can select okay i would like a master unit and this many additional like uh, uh, additional units yeah. but let's say if you're uh, the type of uh, customer that already has like 10 units mm. uh, like standard units at home we have a simple tutorial in our documentation how you can transform uh, your units into working for the yeah yeah for so you're as essentially updating the firmware to turn it into the same kind of units as the X channels that are on display here yeah the firmware yeah. it's uh, again it's a different story and it's very simple to yeah. do you download an image you mm -hmm. use the software to write it and in two minutes you have it yeah uh, I'm, I was talking a little bit about the hardware configuration yeah yeah oh I see okay yes yeah mm -hmm. so you modify the hardware but just slightly yes it's like anybody with a little bit of SMD. Uh, yes. experience can move two resistors mm -hmm. and they have their own uh, 
capability to yeah. do external configuration. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we already have uh, a few customers in because this is quite quite new, and we are waiting to see what kind of use cases yeah, are, yeah, yeah. are coming out of those. <laughs> Uh, we are already hearing about, you know, multiple elements, yeah. uh, radar interpretations or radar new radar solutions yeah. that are developed with this. So uh, that's really, it's really, really quite cool. exciting. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing. That one of the things that I, I find kind of amazing about it is that by doing it this way, you've uh, you've you've made it into a, a kind of completely scalable and modular system yeah. that allows people to to uh, kind of make it fit their use case. But by the same token, like you said at the very start, it's also a product that if someone was getting into this uh, for the first time, they could uh, get a red tire as their first piece of lab equipment as well. Um, yeah, no, I mean, Red has been something that we've been quite excited about since we first heard about it. Um, if, if people would want to know more about this today and uh, find out more about Red Pitaya, do you guys have a website and an online store? Oh, yes, of yeah. course. So we have uh, redpitaya.com, mm -hmm. and from here you can find out uh, about what we have in the shop. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to the documentation part and find yeah. every technical detail. If yeah. not, uh, you also have the contact to our team, to our support, mm -hmm. and you can see that. And uh, we also have a collection of very interesting projects mm -hmm. that we collected uh, sometimes from the internet or sometimes the customers, uh, they, they get back to us. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's not only um, uh, multi-instrument, mm -hmm. all-in-one board, mm -hmm. but it's also an open source software FPGA development platform. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. this is what kicks the most interesting projects to, to being made. For yeah. sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm not uh, all the time updated with all the news in the world, but uh, I haven't seen uh, students making uh, ground penetrating radar on a drone yeah. with a you know, limited budget before. Yeah. So that, that was one big project to see uh, that That's I was amazing. really yeah, yeah. excited about. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah as, I, as we've said many times before, the Red Pataya is a very exciting thing, and it's very nice to speak to you today. Thank you so much for giving you your time. And yeah, and as you mentioned, redpataya.com if you'd like to know more. And uh, yes, Red Pataya, uh, we love this board, and we've said it before, and we will say it again. <laughs>